Hi everybody, welcome to Interval Training. My name is Bree and I'm gonna be your instructor today. If this is your first time in Interval Training, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Before we get started, grab a couple of things for me. If you don't have a drink nearby, please grab water, Powerade, Gatorade, whatever you guys would like to drink throughout class. You can grab sips of that in between our intervals. And if you have a mat, feel free to grab that as well. If you don't have a mat around, maybe a towel, a blanket, or even just a pillow to put your knees under, we are gonna be doing some floor work today, but that is completely optional. Um, we're going to go ahead and get warmed up, and while we get warmed up, I'm going to give you a couple things to keep in mind while we go through class today. So go ahead and put your arms out to a T, small circles to the front. Beautiful. While we move through class today, I want you to make sure, first and foremost, that you listen to your body before you listen to me. So if anything isn't feeling that great, if you have to take a couple extra seconds before you get started, whatever you need, that's what I want you to pay attention to. Let's go ahead and make those circles a little bit bigger. Okay, warming up our shoulders here. And nice and big all the way around. Good. Now, with that in mind, I want you guys to make sure that you challenge yourself throughout class as well. So, if you need an extra time, please take it, but don't take too much time off. We only have a 30 minute class, so you want to get the most of it today. Let's do small circles to the back. Good. A little bit bigger. And all the way around. Good. Go ahead and open up those feet for me. We're going to do some windmills. So opposite hand, opposite foot, down to your toe, ankle, or knee, whatever you can reach. If we just come here, that's totally fine. Give me a nice big butt squeeze at the top. Good. One more on each side. All right, next thing we're gonna do are some body weight squats. You guys can choose to put your hands behind your head or at your waist, out in front of you, whatever you'd like to do. We're gonna sink nice and low, keeping that weight in our heels. Maybe pausing for a second at the bottom and then coming back up, seeing how our hips are feeling, how our knees, ankles are feeling. Good, nice and slow. Getting our lower body warm here. All right, go ahead and bring those feet together for me. We're going to do a nice slow march. So high knees without a run. Good. Getting up as high as we can. And then we're going to switch to butt kicks just in a march right now. Good. Same thing, just seeing how our ankles, knees, hips are feeling this morning or afternoon, whenever you're taking this class. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of a run in three, two, one, and go. So we're adding in a hop. You can stay at that march if you'd like. We're just warming up our legs here. And three, two, one. We're gonna switch to those high knees. Good, and three, two, one. Go ahead and, go ahead and grab us some water if you need it. All right, we're gonna jump into our first circuit. So just so you guys know what's coming today, we're gonna have three movements for each of our circuits. We're gonna do three circuits and we're gonna do them each twice. So if I lost you, don't get worried. Our first circuit, we're gonna be doing a body weight squat and then we're just gonna shuffle our feet to the side. So I'm gonna step out here and out here, okay? So squat, shuffle, shuffle. If you wanna make it a little bit more high intensity, we can add a jump, stay low, Shuffle, shuffle, out of jump, shuffle, shuffle. Whatever you'd like to do for that first one is up to you. Our second one is gonna be forward lunges. So alternating here. We can also add a jump. So if you're feeling good this morning, we can add in this jump, okay? And our third movement is gonna be side lunges. So feet are together. I'm gonna step out to the side, come back, step out to the other side. Or if you guys would like, you can keep your feet nice and wide. Sinking low to one side, sinking low to the other. All right, we're starting with that squat, two shuffles. Get ready to move in three, two, one, and go. So we squat, side step, side step, and we squat, good. Try to stay nice and low in the squat and the shuffles. There we go. Chest up nice and tall the entire time. We don't wanna bring our chest to our knees. 
we have a nice what I like to call crowd chest. Good. You got 10 seconds here. Three, two, one, and relax. Shake those legs out for me. All right, you've got a 20 second break. So in these 20 seconds, you can choose to grab water, catch your breath, or if you're already ready to go, just take your next position. We're going to those alternating lunges next. We're moving in three, two, one, and go. So nice big step forward, trying to get our back knee as close to the ground as we can. Good, same thing here. We're keeping that nice proud chest. Looking straight ahead. Good, driving through that front heel to push us back to our back foot. Beautiful. We got 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and relax, shake them out. All right, last one, like I said before, you can either choose to step your feet together and step them out for our side lunges, or you can be nice and wide. Toes are gonna point opposite side of the room, and we can choose to do one side at a time. Get ready to move in three, two, one, and go. I know our legs might be feeling a little, well, it's just called juicy or sore, but we can make it. Good, get nice and low. Sink that butt back into your heels. Good, we're halfway through this round. Try to pay attention to how low you're going. Maybe if we're going about six inches or so on one side, try to match that. Getting a little bit lower each time. Three, two, one. And shake those legs out. All right, 20 seconds. Grab a quick drink. We're going to start from the top. Now we've won time, so make adjustments for our next round. You need to pick the intensity up, maybe bring it down a little bit, whatever you need for round number two. Let's do that. We're moving in three, two, one, and go. Squat, nice and low. Shuffle, shuffle. Good, same thing. Good, good. Chest up nice and tall. Good, stay moving, stay moving. Got 10 seconds left here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake those legs out. Get ready for those lunges. All right, 10 seconds. Get ready to move. Three, two, one, and go. Big step forward. Grabbing through that heel, pushing us back. Good. We want to stay moving the entire round. So maybe we started with the jump and 10, 15 seconds in, we can't keep going. We can switch to that step if we'd like. Or if you're doing what I'm doing and you'd like to try the jump, please feel free to do that. You are not stuck doing the move that you started with. Good, keep moving. You got five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, one more round for our lower body. Next circuit's not gonna be lower body, I promise. All right, find that position for your side lunges. In three, two, one, and go. Sinking those hips back. Good. Pay attention to the first round to how low we are going. Our goal is to get that low, maybe a little lower if we can. Good, good, good. Keep 
move in. We're over halfway through with this round. Last round of our circuit. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake those legs out for me. Grab some water. I'm gonna walk us through our next circuit. We're gonna be switching to upper body next. So round number one, we're gonna be doing push-ups. We're gonna have our hands right under our shoulders, okay? Right now I'm on my hands, knees, and toes. Touching our chest to the ground. Pushing back up in one straight line, okay? We're not gonna let our hips sag. We're not gonna bring them up. One straight line down, one straight line up. That's gonna be our entire first round. We can also be here, okay? That's another option. Our second round, we're doing what are called Supermans. So feet are gonna be straight out behind us, arms are straight out in front of us. I'm gonna lift my chest, head, shoulders up off the ground. While I'm up, I'm gonna pull them back, squeeze, and then extend out in front of us. That's gonna be our entire second round, okay? And then round number three, we're gonna be doing mountain climbers, but we're gonna be doing mountain climbers to our same side. So this left knee is coming to my left elbow, nice and wide, each round. Okay, we can also be hands and knees, same thing, bringing our knee nice and wide to our same side elbow. Get ready to move, we're starting with those push-ups in three, two, one, and go. Right under our shoulders, going down, touching our chest, and then one straight line, big exhale, we push up, beautiful. Good, we're over halfway with this round. Looking good, looking good, keep moving. We got three, two, one, and down. All right, you guys can stay laying on the mat. You can grab some water if you need it. We're switching to those Supermans. Chest flat on the ground, legs flat on the ground, arms straight out in front of us. We're moving in three, two, one, and go. Chest, shoulders, head come off the ground. I pull my elbows in towards me, straighten, and then down. Good, we're looking good here. You got 10 seconds. Make sure you're giving me a good squeeze when we pull back. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, we got one more round of mountain climbers. You guys can hang out on your mat, grab water if you need it. If your shoulders and wrists are starting to feel a little bit tight, maybe roll them out. Roll your wrists out, roll your shoulders out. When you're ready, we're moving in five seconds. And go ahead and pop up. Same side, knee to same side elbow. Again, we can do these hands and toes. We can do them hands and knees. Leaning your body forward just a little bit. Most important thing here is we're gonna keep our back nice and flat. Again, you can alternate between the two. So if you started with one movement and want to try another one, I welcome it. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, grab some water, roll those shoulders and wrists out. We got one more round. Are you feeling good? I'm feeling good. I know you're feeling good. I just wanted to make sure you were feeling good. All right, starting with those push-ups one more time in three, two, one, and go. If you want to give it a shot, maybe try one of those, see how it feels today. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Thank 
Good, make sure you pay attention to your back. Make sure you're in one straight line here. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, roll them out. Get ready for your Supermans. Legs out straight, arms out straight. Chest on the ground, stomach on the ground. Get ready to move in three, two, one, and go. Make sure you keep those feet on the floor. Good, give me a good squeeze in the back. You got 15 seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, one more round of mountain climbers here. Let's finish this circuit nice and strong. Our shoulders we're moving in three two one and go good trying to reach that knee as close to our elbow as we can get it We got 15 left. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and pop up to your feet. Last round, excuse me, last circuit is gonna be all cardio movements. So we have three movements. Our first one is gonna be alternating toe taps. So on your mat, on your floor, whatever you wanna use. If you have a step available to you, you can use that as well. We can either march our feet out as quick as we can, or we can add in a little bit of a hop here, up to you. Number two is gonna be jump rope. Again, if you guys have a jump rope available, feel free to use it. I like air jump rope, because then you can't see mess up, but we're gonna be two feet together, jumping rope. That's gonna be our second round. And then third round is gonna be jumping jacks. We have the option of a march or we can do our jump. This is gonna be our last circuit. Let's make it our best circuit, starting with alternating taps in three, two, one, and go. Good, we can march it out here, add in the hop. Whichever one you guys would like to take, alternate between the two. Whatever feels good for you today feels good for me. Good, keep it up, keep it up. Really trying to get our heart rate high here. Good, keep those feet moving. Got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so we can do our jump rope. Grab water as you need in between these rounds. I know this is gonna be our higher, or excuse me, highest intensity rounds. So grab water as you need. All right, get ready. We're jumping rope for our next round. In three, two, one, and go. Good, let's keep those feet moving. See, I'm telling you guys, I'm real good at air jump rope. Not so much at actual jump rope. Good, keep those feet moving. We got 10 seconds. Come on, pick up the pace a little bit. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, last round. Switching to our jumping jacks or marching jacks. Make sure we do these with our hands all the way to the top. When we come out, we're moving in five, four, 
three, two, and one. Good. Hands touch the top, all the way back down to our sides. Good, keep that pace up, we're halfway through our round. sit down, don't log off, don't click out, don't do any of that stuff yet. We're going to cool down and bring our heart rate down. So go ahead and spread those feet, pop shoulder width apart, and then big inhale. And exhale. Big inhale. And exhale. Again, big inhale. Exhale. One more time, big inhale. Go ahead and lock those fingers up over your head, palms to the sky. Good. Still taking big breaths here, slowing our heart rate down. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a little tired, a little sweaty, but happy I came this morning. Happy you came. Hope you're watching the future. Happy you're watching the future. Go ahead and lock those fingers behind our back. Our shoulders down the way, maybe add a little bit of a lift in the back. Good. We're going to go ahead and cross one arm over our body 
and I'm gonna grab either above or below my elbow here, and then I'm gonna bring my shoulder down and away from my ear. Okay, so we're not up here making phone calls. And switch that. We're either above or below our elbow, keeping our shoulder nice and low. Feel this in your shoulder a little bit. Mine just pops. Maybe in your tricep. If you guys have a mat, feel free to join me. We're going to get into some seated stretches. We're going to go ahead and stick both feet out, toes up, either reaching down for our knees, our shins, ankles, or toes, whichever one is most available to us. We're trying to bring our chest down to our knees. As you can see, I'm very close. Grab with one hand and then reach up and over if you'd like. Or you can use both hands to pull you down. And switch sides. Same thing, one side. You can come up and over or reach with both. We're going to 